What is up beautiful people and welcome back to the channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's going to be a deep condition and chat video. I'm going to talk a little bit about my hair goals and stuff like that. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm going to be using for my deep conditioner. I'm going to be trying out the Mayel Moisture RX Hawaiian Ginger Moisturizing Overnight Conditioner. That's a mouthful. Anyway, this is what I'll be using. And usually I like to do a lot of my own concoctions and stuff like that. But I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. I want to, you know, try some different products and stuff on my channel. Do some reviews and stuff like that. So I'll be using this today. And it does say overnight so at the time of filming it's currently not night it's what four o'clock in the afternoon so I'm going to put this on my hair put my little plastic bag on my head and I'm actually going to keep it in all throughout the night sleep with it and I'll rinse it out in the morning so I'm going to be using this so without further ado let's start talking okay first off the smell is pretty light and I'm here for a light smell I'm not here for the overly perfumed kind of jazz like anybody got time for that oh let me get my clips okay so I'm going to go ahead I actually took my hair out of box braids and it's pretty dirty <laughs> don't judge me I had my box braids in for about six weeks and I it's time to deep condition cho. So one of the things that I really wanted to discuss is my hair goal and I intend to get to bra strap length by the time I am two years natural and that's a month and a half away. So I guess I should do a little bit of a length check right now so you guys can see so we can really like accurately measure the change. So okay it's out of focus. Okay so you can see my hair lands like right about here. Let me straighten up. So my hair lands right about here, like right at the bottom of my shoulder blade. So that's about a good two to three inches of growth that I'm trying to get in the next month and a half. So for me to get three inches of growth, I would need to gain about an inch every two weeks. I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try. So you see where my hair is at currently. So we're gonna try to reach that goal. So let's deep condition. So in order to reach that goal, or at least try and reach that goal, I'm going to be using a few things. So I'm just going in with my fenugreek aloe and ashwagandha hair tea instead of water. Since I'm going to be leaving it in overnight, might as well get some nutrients from it. So this is what I'm going to be using to moisten my hair. So what I'm going to be using to aid in the growth is, of course, the fenugreek, aloe, and ashwagandha hair tea that I made. I'm going to be using that in my hair. And as well as my max growth hair elixir i'm going to be using that as well on my scalp so basically what i intend to do is like every day like daily i'm going to be spritzing my hair my scalp with the um that ayurvedic tea rinse and oiling my scalp with my max growth hair elixir and like that's for externally as well I'm, I'm going to be doing um, like scalp massages along with it just to like increase the blood flow and circulation to my scalp and what I'm going to be doing internally I'm going to be using a few things now one of the things that I'm going to be using I, I, I already do it but I just wanted to mention it here because I think it's very important 
is to take iron and folic acid supplements. Iron and folic acid are essential for proper hair growth. If your body does not have enough iron, your body focuses on providing those necessary nutrients to keep you alive and moving to other organs. It doesn't care about your hair, like the hair can go. So I wanna make sure that my iron folic acid, like my regular nutrient intake is on point. Ah, oh, this hair just went cut on my finger. Okay. Let's see how this is looking. One thing I will say about this conditioner this deep conditioner it is giving my type 4 hair some clumpage something that she don't know about <laughs> I'm gonna add a little bit more of the root because the root looks kind of fuzzy compared to the way it coated the ends but all in all this um deep conditioner feels quite nice and it's pretty smooth like I'm breaking out shed hair like nobody's business <laughs> which is a plus okay okay let's move on yeah so I want to make sure like my nutrient intake is on point so my body lacks nothing so that all the excess can go towards the health and growth of my hair so that's why it's pretty important to eat healthy and stuff like that. I have started um, a healthy kind of journey because I'm trying to <laughs> I'm trying to lose a few pounds. Okay, she trying to get summertime fine. Like okay, but seriously, I have three babies. Like whatever, I don't have time to work out. So I'm trying to find a schedule where I can like I don't know wake up early, find time to like get a little bit of a workout in girl and <laughs> I've also started meal prepping eating healthy like don't tell me nothing about no keto girl I can't I, I can't promise you no keto nothing like I currently bake my own breads and all of that and that bread be tasting good you know when bread just comes out of the oven you have to cut it and put some butter on that thing because that be smacking like you can't tell me I can't have no bread, honey, okay? So, I'm not doing no keto. But what I am doing, I'm eating meals that are predominantly like good fats, vegetables, and protein. Kind of like keto adjacent, but I'm not cutting out like, like good nutritious sources of like vitamins and micronutrients just because they have carbs like for example like carrots and stuff like that like sis I'm gonna eat my carrot and my banana okay <laughs> so I'm doing that I'm eating mostly vegetables healthy fats the main source of like healthy fat that I'll be consuming is like avocado not so much like nuts and stuff like that like I don't really care for nuts like that like I'll eat it but it's like not necessary in my diet so I'm doing that when it comes to eating and I try to meal prep because I'm the type of person when I get hungry it's like I'm losing my mind <laughs> like if I'm hungry and the food is not there I'm going to grab whatever is there okay sis that's what she'll do. She'll grab whatever's there. That might be chips. Those might be cookies. Might be a kid. I'm just saying like. So in order to step away from that, I've started meal prepping so that I know when I do get hungry, the food is already there. I just need to like warm it up and stuff like that. And for my vegetables, what I do because I don't want my vegetables to be like soggy and stale. I will like stir fry them and stuff but like I will undercook them just I'll just like cook them just enough so that the flavor and stuff that I put on it can get in there so when I am ready to eat and I go to like warm it up because it'll cook a little bit more then it'll be like perfect so that's what I do 
So what types of things I'm eating? I'm eating mostly like lean meats, like salmon, um, tuna, um, chicken breasts and stuff. But I will eat like red meat and stuff. Don't get me wrong. Like she be eating, <laughs> you know, but mostly like my plate, it's like predominantly green leafy vegetables then like a half of a avocado and like a serving of like some type of meat and then for like breakfast i usually would go in with um like some oatmeal topped with like oatmeal with like cinnamon and um what's that thing nutmeg and stuff in it and clove and stuff in it but then i like top it off with some strawberries blueberries bananas like whatever type of fruit i'm feeling that particular day or i'll just like sprinkle some like granola on top like granola with like sesame seeds and stuff in it pumpkin seeds in it just for like some real good fiber and protein of course so i'll do that won't add any sugar to it like the most i would do is like drizzle a little bit of honey on it but like for the most part I get my sweetness from the fruit whoa all this is really getting a lot of shed here out one thing I do like about the conditioner so far like it's really smooth like on my hair like the slip as crazy the slip is crazy and it is defining my hair. Girl, I ain't never seen my hair defined. I need to look in the mirror. I think my viewfinder is lying to me. Girl. Girl. What is happening here? What is happening here? I have never in my life. I can't even fix my mouth to say my 4C hair because this does not look like. 4C hair that I thought I had. Okay. Okay, listen. Mayel, what is you doing to my life, sis? Like, this is nice. Why? She got curl definition. I never. Maybe it's because my hair was stretched. Let me don't. Let me. Let me not trip. Because my hair was stretched. Because I just took it out of, um box braids so it does have the natural like crimpy pattern from the braid like the braid out pattern from the braid so let me not trip anyway back to the topic so aside from the eating healthy doing my scalp massages using my ayurvedic hair tea on my scalp along with my max growth hair elixir I'm going to also do internally some um, other vitamins aside from my regular multivitamins and my iron and folic acid. I'm also going to be using Hairfinity vitamins and I want to also use the liquid biotin. This is biotin vitamin B7 natural vanilla flavor. Anyway, so this says it has 5,000 micrograms of biotin which is crazy okay and the hairfinity has vitamin a c d thiamine riboflavin niacin vitamin b6 folate b12 and biotin they have 2500 micrograms of biotin they also have um panto pantothenic acid and calcium they also have msm pea protein powder horse steak. wait i didn't even know they got all that in there. Child. anyway so we're going to be using these two internally along with the topical max growth hair elixir fenugreek hair tea scalp massages and my regular vitamins so um the biotin i know a lot of people are concerned about biotin because it is known to cause like breakouts and stuff 
but like I'm trying to reach my goals okay like I can always clear my skin up and like biotin doesn't really affect me that bad let me don't even talk too fast and jinx it so we're gonna see it's all gonna be a part of this experiment let's see like how fast my hair grows and if this insane amount of biotin is going to give me breakouts I hope not okay I guess I'm just going to try as much as possible to continue drinking my lemon water and regular water as much as possible oh that's another thing I started doing I started drinking lemon water not just in the morning but like I make a huge jug and I keep drinking that all throughout the day and I'm also doing intermittent fasting if you guys want me to start doing videos on my, like my weight loss journey and stuff just comment that down below just say like weight loss stuff please then I, I can like make videos for you guys about like the meals that I'm making and stuff and like how I prepare them I can also like give you in a little bit of insight into like what I'm doing with my lemon water I'm also using like apple cider vinegar intermittent fast and like how I'm utilizing those techniques to aid in my weight loss FYI today is Monday I started it on Saturday and your girl is already down three pounds now I know that it's obviously going to be more than more than likely those three pounds are water but people t tend to like take that for granted but it shouldn't be taken for granted because excess water means that your body was holding on to excess fluid which means you had swelling and inflammation in your body which is also a negative side effect of being overweight like you will see people like their feet like swell up a lot that can be a sign that like something something ain't right something ain't clean in the milk so um <laughs> i i'm grateful for every single pound that i lose every ounce that i lose because we're trying to get rid of this. Like, I don't even know. Let me not say I don't know how I got to this point. I know exactly how I got to this point. I've been eating. I've been eating and being lazy. So, I'm trying to be more active. Because this year, I'm also going to turn 30. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm going to be 30. Like, I'm not old. My mama's old. <laughs> hey, mama. So, yeah. I want to, like, get certain things in place physically mentally like just be healthy and thriving in every aspect like I want the long hair I want the glowy skin I want my body to be right okay and I also want my personality my spiritual life my financial life and all that to be where it needs to be so this is essentially a complete glow up journey like with my hair like I have hair goals I have fitness goals I also have goals with where I want to be like internally as a person like I'm I just want to like work on some things <laughs> oh my god yeah so I just want to work on that and when I say financially like your girl ain't broke or nothing like she got money but I have like other goals that we're working towards as a family and certain things that I want to do and achieve that will require a bit of shifting in certain areas so I'm working on all of that and I'll share with you guys whatever you want me to share like if you want like tips on how to like fix your credit tips on how to save even if you have like a fixed income like basically how to save if you don't have enough money to pay your bills even and I'll share all of that with you guys if you want me to just comment leave a comment down below like I can give advice on like my weight loss journey of course I'll be sharing with you guys my hair growth journey to see if I can get those three inches to th just three 
that two to three inches within a month and a half and as well I want to if you guys want advice on like how to fix your credit and get like financial security even if your income is not like high like even with like an average type of income how you can be able to save and increase your wealth and grow your money and all that if you guys want advice on that you can definitely comment it down below and if enough people leave a comment I'm definitely gonna make a video about it but for sure the hair growth stuff is there is gonna be there if you guys want to see weight loss stuff just comment whatever you want to see just comment it in just drop a comment down below so for right now the immediate goal is like health get my hair together and lose weight and uh, most of them um most of the things that i'm doing to grow my hair directly ties in with my um weight loss goals and stuff like that so it's not really that much extra okay guys so we're on the last section so one thing i can say about this um myel deep conditioner it is really helping me to get all my shed hairs out really easily so that's how you know the slip is there honey the slip is definitely there and like I'm not feeling any like tangles and stuff in my hair so far so at least that is good and of course deep condition your edges child like don't just put deep conditioner on the shaft of your hair and there's none on your edges these edges need some love So guys, this is my hair completely covered in the deep conditioner.